Hello, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Messy Maestros. I'm Miss Erin, and I'm so excited to be doing this activity here with you this morning. Miss Amanda is on vacation, so we wish her all the best, but she will be back next week. So we're doing this on Facebook Live, which I love as a platform because it gives you all at home the opportunity to engage with me. So we have a comment section and Miss Christy is looking at the comments. Feel free to drop, you know, just hello or any questions you may have. And at the end of our program today, um, we'll set aside some time to go over those. And I hope to hear from you. So next, I just wanted to go over a little bit about Messy Maestros as a program in general. So Messy Maestros is a process art program. So here we're really focused on exploring the materials and what we create, it's probably gonna look pretty awesome, but it's all gonna look different. So what I create is gonna definitely look different from what you are creating at home. And I'm gonna be modeling some potential questions um, and ways to experiment with the materials that caregivers, you can encourage your children to do and I'm sure that you guys are going to come up with some awesome ideas of how to interact with the materials as well. And I'd love if you'd share those with us in the comments. All right, um, so now that that's out of the way, we'll do our Hello Friends song. And I'll just go over the sign language for that again. So first, we'll salute to say hello. Then take your pointer fingers and make them hug to say friends. Then you'll point at your wrist or your imaginary watch and then point at your mouth, okay? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Yay, welcome everybody. Okay, um, so now that we've done our Hello, Friends song, I'm just gonna go over some of the materials that we have for today. So this is session five. Um, you should have picked up your kit number three, and this has all the materials for this week, session five, and next week, session six. So for today, um, you'll take out your little bag that says kit number three, session five, and it has a bunch of different fun paint in it that we're gonna be using today. You'll also need this kind of funny looking thing, it's a tube with some hot glue patterns on it. Miss Amanda and I made all of these, and each one is definitely unique. So we need this. We're calling it a brayer. It would be a good idea for you to take a plate, or I've got this tray, so that you can pour your paint into it today. And then in your kit, you have two pieces of paper. One of those is for next week, um, but one of those is for today, so make sure to get that out. And then um, it's a good idea to have some paper towels on hand because this one is definitely going to get kind of messy, but that's why it's Messy Maestro's. It'll be fun. And then our poem for this morning is Mr. Grumpledum's Song, and we'll be doing that after we spend a little time getting messy. So that's for later, but just want to get it out um, so you're ready. All right, so now while you're getting everything set up for this morning, all your paint out and untaped and everything, I have another song for you, and it's called Roly Poly. I thought this one would be fun because we're going to be rolling with our brayers today. And this song deals with opposites. Um, and it's to the tune of Frere Jaca. All right, so we're going to be rolling our arms like this. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, 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 up. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, down, 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 down. Rolly, poly, rolly, poly, out, 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 out. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, in, 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 in. Rolly poly, rolly poly, fast, 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 fast. Rolly roly poly, rolly roly poly, slow, 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 slow. 
Woo. So I hope that song got y'all a little warmed up for our art activity today. And now we're gonna get started. So take your tray or your plate, whatever you have for the paint, and it is time to pour some in. So you can pour it out however you like. Um, I'm just gonna make kind of a big puddle and use one color at first. But you're welcome to, you know, start with all your colors, pour them all in there. You can try making a squiggle of the paint. And I'm starting with my purple. I'm gonna spread out my paint a little bit for my brayer. And first, before you dip your brayer in the paint, just feel it a little bit. Feel how what the texture of the hot glue is like. You can try to put your arm through the tube if you want. Brayers are used um, to put ink onto newspapers, magazines, um, and they're like little rollers. But this is our, uh, our little DIY version of one. Okay. Once you've felt your brayer a little bit, get a sense of um, what the patterns are like on it, it's time to add some paint. I'm going to roll it all in my purple paint. Okay. See how it's nice and coated with the purple paint there? Okay, and now I'm going to try rolling it on my paper. Okay. Look at that. So cool. I've got this. This almost looks like some skin right here. I've got some lines and dots from my brayer. Let's try again. Some awesome squiggles going on. I'm going to add some more paint to it. So I just tried rolling the paint in it, but you can also, you know, pick up some paint with your fingers and try coating the brayer that way if you want. That's just a way to get extra messy. Do you guys notice, is the, does it leave the same pattern every time or does it look a little bit different? I think I'm getting a little bit of a different pattern every time I do it, depending on, you know, how much paint is on it, how hard I'm pressing. Okay, now I think I'm going to add another color of paint to my tray to see what that does. I got this kind of orangey color here. I'm going to pour it to one side of my purple paint. And then I have this yellow color here. Add that as well. All right. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. See how that? All came. I got them all mixed together. Let's see how this looks on the paper. Wow, this is looking. This is looking pretty cool. I'm thinking this is getting me thinking of other ways you could use things to roll for art. Like maybe if you have some rubber balls at home or some marbles, you could try adding them to your tray or plate and rolling them over this piece of paper. I mean, that's definitely going to be messy because they'll probably roll off the page. You have a little more control with this, but it might be a good idea. Hmm, this is getting me to think about other ideas too. Like maybe I could try pushing my brayer, see what that does. When I push it through, I got these long lines dragging through my piece. And some of the colors are starting to mix together a little bit. You know, I have another idea too. What if I use the side of the brayer instead of 
I'm going to put a little paint on there instead of rolling it, maybe just stamping it out a little bit. Get some nice circles on my paint. All right, now my fingers are getting a little messy, so I'm going to use my paper towel and clean them off a little bit. Um, but there are also other ways to use your brayer as well. So, you know, we thought you could potentially put a rolling pin through your brayer and try rolling it that way. I have this yardstick that I'm going to try using, but if you have a ruler at home, that would work too. And so you could try this, you know, maybe if you didn't want your fingers to get quite as messy with the paint. All right, so I don't know about you guys, I think my piece of art is starting to look pretty awesome, and I hope that yours at home is as well. Um, now, um, I just want to remind everybody to leave questions and comments on our Facebook Live feed. Miss Christy is going to give those to me in a little bit, um, but first we're going to do our poem. So this poem is called Mr. Grumpledump's Song by Shel Silverstein, and how fun is that to say, grumble them? Pretty dang fun, right? Um, and this one's a little bit longer than some of the other poems we've done in the past, so I'm just going to read through it once. All right? Mr. Grumpledump's Song. Everything's wrong. Days are too long. Sunshine's too hot. Wind is too strong. Clouds are too fluffy. Grass is too green. Ground is too dusty. Sheets are too clean. Stars are too twinkly. Moon is too high. Water's too drippy. Sand is too dry. Rocks are too heavy. Feathers too light. Kids are too noisy. Shoes are too tight. Folks are too happy singing their songs. Why can't they see it? Everything's wrong. I hope y'all enjoyed that poem. I really like reading this one too because Mr. Rumpledump is pretty grumpy, right? And it can be fun to act angry and grumpy when you're reading a poem or telling a story, even if you don't feel that way. It can be fun to pretend like that. Awesome. Um, so now I'm just going to go over a little bit of information about future sessions. Um, next week is session six, like I already mentioned. We're going to be here again on Facebook Live at 1030. Um, just want to remind you all to sign up for kit number four. That has all the materials you'll need for sessions seven and eight. And the deadline for that is not this week, but the following week, Friday, August 7th. Um, you can reserve that on our Shopify page. Um, we also want to tell you to point or check out the website, chmuseums.org. The Museum of York County has their last Wonderful Wednesday program for the summer next Wednesday morning, and it's going to be trivia, so that's going to be really awesome and fun. And I know that Historic Brattonsville has some awesome programming coming up as well, so keep an eye on our social media and our website for those programs. Also, we really want to hear from you. We want to hear your feedback, so if you have any thoughts about you know, how this program went today, sound, video quality, please message us on Facebook. We really want to hear from you. Um, and now I'm going to have our questions and comments from Ms. Christy. Okay, we have a shout out from Ms. Lane that says good morning, Ms. Lane. And the Nun family also says good morning, Ms. Lane. And we're looking forward to getting messy. Um, we have a question from Ms. Carol. Can you put something textured underneath the paper? How would that look? That's a great idea. Um, Ms. Carol had a question about adding something textured underneath the paper. That could be really interesting. Um, you know, it could just be the floor. If you're working on a tiled floor, maybe that would give you an interesting pattern. Um, that's a great idea, though. We're always, you know, looking for those extensions and ways to experiment a little more with our materials. So is there anything else, Ms. Christy? Okay. 
I'm glad that she enjoyed this activity. I definitely enjoyed this activity. I think my, I love how all the colors went together, the yellow and the kind of orangey red and purple. Is that all we got? We got another question. Okay. Have you tried making the roller with toilet paper rolls? I have not personally tried doing it with toilet paper rolls, um, but Miss Amanda and I had these awesome giant tubes that had been donated um, to the museum and our exhibit staff kindly cut them up into these little pieces. So we thought it might be cool to have a little more sturdy tube. Um, but you could definitely try this out with toilet paper rolls as well. That's a great idea. You know, a little bit smaller. It'd be interesting to see what the pattern would look like on the page. Another question would you like photos of the art projects um, that have been done? And if so, um, what is the best way to get email address um, for it? Yeah. We would love to see your pictures. So you can either post them on our Facebook page, share them on Instagram. Um, our hashtag is hashtag messy maestros. So that's a great way to get pictures to us. Um, if you do want to email any pictures, you can email them to me. My email is eray, so E-R-A-Y, at chmuseums.org. Um, we'd love to see the art that you're creating. I really appreciate that. that Everybody. Well, thank you so much for participating in the program today. If you have any more comments or questions, please feel free to add them to the feed and we can address them later. But we're going to finish out with our goodbye friends song. So just like for hello friends, we saluted. For goodbye friends, we're going to wave. Goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next week for session six.